this. Why is this side much longer? Jeez, I need to pull the other side back. Crap. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, I need to pull this back. Four. One, two, three, four. Fox says, yeah, I just kept thinking I'd end up wanting to play it, but it bought me after like 10 minutes every time. Mm. And I didn't want to waste the initial investment in the other expansion. <laughs> mm. I, you know what, I'm not gonna pretend I'm any better, because I've, I've bought games in Steam that I don't play, right? <laughs> I, I think we are all susceptible to that sort of thinking. It's like, oh, you know, I'll probably play this later on. No. <laughs> no, I haven't played it later on. says tell me about it. Just bought Divinity Original Sin 2 and having got beyond a two hour session on that day, it completely exhausts me just thinking about it. <laughs> it it's a... Uh, oh man. <laughs> Video game anxiety? <laughs> you can do it Harva. You can do it. It's not that hard. Cody says it gets better Harva. Cody says once you get used to it. It gets better. <laughs> what other games have been like that for me? I guess I just don't play them. I guess like multiplayer games, competitive multiplayer games tend to be like that for me. Like once I actually play it, I'm like kind of decent at it. <laughs> But I just don't want to start playing it. <laughs> How says all I know? It's the even maxer in me that knows I'll never be able to 100% every decision. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> One, two, three, four. That makes me a little sad too. Hava says I can't seem to just play and enjoy the storyline. Yeah, it, I... Sometimes I also have to like, make an effort to just like... Alright, just play through the story, don't... Don't worry about the rest of it. Especially if the game is actually inherently just not that good. Hava says only a week left before the next D3 season. Maybe I just do that for a while. <laughs> I think I'll play that too the next season. Foxes, I seem to have that issue with the most popular games people tell me are amazing. I just can't get into them. Maybe that's the uh, expectation, Fox. Like you've been. <laughs> it's been built up for you so much. I think hype really is possibly uh, bad for people's experiences building up the expectation too much. Two, three, four, and five. Fox says, is the next season interesting or just because it's a new season? Mostly it's just a new season. Every season they, they do something a little different now, Fox. The next season they say, uh, the Horadric Cube 
you can put anything in any of the three slots. So instead of it being weapon, armor, jewelry, you can put any. You can like have three weapons or like three jewelries or anything else. Harvest says part of growing older. I reckon Divinity was the first game I bought for years. Last few AAA games I bought in the last ten years have all been disappointments. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. Fox says that should lead to interesting things. I mean, the idea of it is interesting. I'm not sure it will change the gameplay all that much though. Like, I don't think it'll fundamentally change the gameplay. But it's like for the theory crafters, I guess. All the last few AAA games I bought in the last ten years have all been disappointments, says Harbor. But I think they're—I mean, they kind of have to be, because AAA games have to be safe, right? They need to make money, or they need to recoup the development cost at least, and so they have to be safe and not be too innovative. Fox says, I mean, the gameplay is limited anyway just by how the game is. It's true. <laughs> like your press buttons, monsters blow up. Unless you do like a meme build. Probably needs to go, and that gets kind of weird. All right, let's chop this thing down. Two, three, four, five. One, two, and three. Even with Hearthstone, even with Hearthstone, like I don't really want to get into the ladder. Even though, like, I'm fine. <laughs> like once I start playing, I'm fine. Just don't have that uh, competitive drive in me, I guess. the last triple eight games either of you actually completed says false and Harvest says I don't complete games. <laughs> it's been so long I forgot unless you Yakuza counts as triple A. Skyrim. I have come I think I've completed Skyrim more than you have Harper. Uh I believe I have like played through all the quests on more than one character, possibly three characters. And on one of the characters I have powered leveled... Oh, I've unlocked all the achievements. On one of the characters I have powered leveled until I've gotten enough perks to unlock all the perks. <laughs> so like level 200 and something. And now I'm playing through it again, the special edition, and I'm gonna do that again, unlock all the perks by leveling up to level 200 and something. <laughs> Skyrim. Skyrim is, is one of the most complete. Uh, Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 I have also completed all the... I fully completed once. All the missions, all the uh, exploration.
<laughs> oh wait. Left for dead? You completed Left for Dead? What, what does that mean? Did you unlock all the achievements? Or did you just like play through the game? Okay, you, you finished the storyline. Okay, I get it. Yeah, there is. <laughs> and it's kind of like, kind of interesting too, the storyline. Left 4 Dead was great fun. 2 I couldn't really get into. I mean, 2 is kind of similar, isn't it? What's the difference between 1 and 2 again? <laughs> there's three of us and there's three different opinions. <laughs> Fox says the first one was good. Harvey says the second was good. And I'm just like, What's the difference? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Did we all play the same game? <laughs> Howard says he played two first. Okay. That might be the issue. Because one has like fewer features. I was just, I think they were just too close for me. I went into two shortly after play, putting a ton of hours into one. They are very similar. They are very similar. And, you know, if you've played one, there's really not too much point playing the other, <laughs> being how similar they are. Unless you just, like, want to see the story. I wish that game had better bots though. I uh, don't have enough friends. And I wish the bots were more competent. Good. Skyrim, which is three. I guess Diablo three also counts, right? I was just, I loved playing the versus mode where teams took turns being the monsters. Yeah, that like that's so interesting. The idea of it is so interesting. One, two, three. I was just only did it for a few hours. I think the the fact that you need to find a whole bunch of different people. Penumbra says the amount of mods is a reason to play Left 4 Dead 2, despite most of them being terrible reskins. <laughs> I haven't I haven't paid attention to any of the mods in Left 4 Dead Penumbra. Like, what, what's some of the good ones that you've seen? Harva says that and the supposed toxicity of the rando scene. Yeah, that's what I mean, Harva. If you actually have, like, I don't know, eight cool buddies at a LAN party, and you just are, like, on LAN playing with your friends, Penumbra says most of the decent mods are campaign ones. People make complete campaigns? That's a lot of effort, isn't it? Maybe I should like look at those, install the game again and look at the uh, the mods, of course, but they're pretty good usually. That's great. Fox 
Fox because I made some decent friends from randos in the first one when it was still new, but like all things, with time only competency becomes values. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Like the more time that passes, the more uh, What's a euphemism? <laughs> what's a euphemism I can I can use? Let's say uh, all the casual players drop out over time. <laughs> And you get left with a particular type of person. <laughs> Happens to every game, I guess. One, two, three, four. Unless the player base is big enough. And the matchmaking is good enough that you can like still find lower skill level players later on. Foxes, it definitely seems to be a problem with near or multiplayer games if it's some basis of combat with some basis of cooperation. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I wonder if it's possible to design a game that rewards people for helping the newer players. That, that seems really complicated though. Not sure how anyone would accomplish that. Uh, that's not right. Test the reset. So this side, the white side, is going to be longer. One, two. Penumbra says it's possible, but it would never be done altruistically. Yeah, no, I don't expect it to be completely altruistic, Penumbra. I mean, like some sort of game mechanic where the experienced player benefits from helping the newbie. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Like it's uh, some sort of built-in reward system. One, two, three, two, three, four, five. In fact, are there any games that does that well? Also, people would just make surf smurf accounts. I mean, okay. I mean, like... Um, like, here's the thing. We were talking about EVE Online earlier. And in, e in EVE Online, for example, sometimes a corporation just needs bodies in spaceships, right? Like you're in a big war with another corporation, you just like need conscripts to pilot your stupid battleships to go shoot at the other guy, like you need more numbers. And so, you know, just for the sake of gathering enough numbers for your conscript army, like you just kind of grab all the new players, teach them how to fly the stupid battleship and then just like send them into the battle. <laughs> like, you know, in, in some ways, EVE Online kind of encourages the, the big uh, alliances to pick up the new players. Uh, one, two, three. In some ways. But maybe that's a, a unique scenario in EVE Online that you can't generalize. <laughs> <laughs> 